In this edition of Same Names, we look at two former world champions. The first world middleweight champion, non-pareil Jack Dipsy, and the former world heavyweight champion, the Manasseh Mahler Jack Dipsy. John Edward Kelly, better known as non Perel Jack Dempsey, was born in Curra, Ireland on December 15, 1862. William Harrison Jack Dempsey was born on June 24, 1895 in Manassa, Colorado. non Perel Jack Dempsey stood 5 feet 8 inches and had an aggregate weight of around 148 pounds for his career. The Manasseh Mahler stood 6 feet 1 with a 73 inch reach and had an aggregate weight of around 189 pounds for his career. non Perel Jack Dempsey's career spanned from 1883 to 1895. He had 50 wins, 3 losses, and 11 draws. 23 of his wins were by knockout. He also had 1 no decision and 3 no contests. The Manasseh Mahler Jack Dempsey's career spanned from 1914 to 1927. He had 53 wins, 6 losses, and 8 draws. 43 of his wins were by knockout. He also had 6 no decision bouts. Really quick, if you enjoy this type of content, do us a favor and like and subscribe so we can keep bringing more. Non Perel Jack Dempsey took on the first name Jack to align with two other prominent fighters from around his weight class at the time, Jack McAuliffe and Jack Skelly. Dempsey was his mother's last name, and the non Perel came from English pugilist Jack Randall and Dempsey's ability to thoroughly outclass his opponents. Despite weighing around 148 pounds for his career, non Perel Dempsey was able to capture the world middleweight title, becoming the first man to hold such distinction on March 14, 1886, when he knocked out rival George LaBlanche in 13 rounds. LaBlanche was also the first man to defeat Dempsey with an illegal backhand doing the honors. Non Perel Dipsy was considered unbeatable and arguably the best fighter in the world during his era. He was also the most famous boxer outside of John L. Sullivan, then world heavyweight champion. Non Perel Jack Dempsey was a crafty, scientific boxer who worked behind a solid jab, used feints, and had an elusive, shifty defense that allowed him to rarely take much damage in fights. Dipsy also faced off against Professor Mike Donovan, a pioneering boxer and bare knuckler of that time. His stiffest tests and losses were against former middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight world champion, the fighting blacksmith Bob Fitzsimmons, and the former world welterweight champion Tommy Ryan. While non Perel Jack Dempsey's career may be relatively obscure these days, Every boxing fan should know the Manasseh Mahler Jack Dempsey. The Manasseh Mahler has legitimate claim to being the most famous boxer in the history of the sport. Dempsey learned his fighting trade as a hobo jumping from train to train fighting anyone who would accept at any destination a train took him. During this phase of his career, he was fighting under the moniker Kid Blackie. Contrary to belief, his name, Jack Dempsey, was not taken from non Perel Jack Dempsey. It just so happened to be his birth name. The Manasseh Mahler took the boxing world by storm in his first shot at the world heavyweight title on July 4th, 1919 in Toledo, Ohio, against then reigning champion, the Potawatomi giant, Jess Willard. Dempsey delivered the most vicious beating captured on camera to win the world heavyweight title and the hearts of fans all over the world. Dempsey was an all-action fighter and ushered in a new fan base keen on seeing him leave it all in the ring. This also helped Dempsey usher in the first ever million dollar gate against then reigning light heavyweight champion George Carpentier on July 2nd, 1921 at Bowles 30 Acres in Jersey City, New Jersey. There were more than 80,000 fans in attendance and the fight generated $1,789,238 with tickets priced between $5.50 up to $50. 
Dempsey was also personally responsible for the first ever $2 million gate in his second fight with rival Gene Tunney, the Fighting Marine, which took place on September 22, 1927 at Soldier Field in Chicago, Illinois. 104,943 fans packed the stadium, generating a gate total of $2,658,660. Dempsey also laced up the gloves against other top heavyweights of his time, including Tommy Gibbons, Luis Angel Fairpo, Jack Sharkey, and Billy Misk. The two Jack Dempseys couldn't be further from different in the ring. Nonpareil was slower paced and defensive as a fighter, while the Manassa Mahler was more fast paced and in a sense used his offense as defense. We have footage of the latter Dempsey making it easier for people to latch on to his story. He also fought in a time when boxing was in its golden age as far as heavyweights. All that aside, Nonpareil Jack Dempsey too set the tone for what will become the greatest sport in the world and there's no question that the more known Jack Dempsey, like many others after him, benefited from such. Thanks for watching.